please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Journalism of the Heart news channel. The story for today is Margaret Campbell, the Duchess of Argyle, was a highly sex woman who had ceased to be satisfied with normal relations and started to indulge in disgusting sexual activities to gratify a debased sexual appetite that can only be satisfied by a number of men. Of course, that's only true if you believe the words of the puritanical judge who presided over Margaret's sensationalized divorce proceedings to Ian Campbell, the 11th Duke of Argyle. Those words, dripping with bila and misogyny, make it into the TV dramatization of the Argyle's toxic marriage and even nastier breakdown, a very British scandal, and they sting with the venom of socialized shame. Margaret enjoyed having a good time and trapped in a very unhappy marriage to a cruel alcoholic and drug addict, she sought comfort elsewhere, and for that, she was splashed across the papers which recounted in lurid detail a series of infamous photographs which showed her in an intimate position. Those photos would be considered compromising now, can you imagine what was made of them in 1963? Add to that explosive cocktail, a generous helping of schadenfreude in seeing the mighty exposed and ruined. The Argyles were the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard of their day, a publicly imploding couple whose tragedies are on full display for a voracious audience, except absolutely no one was empathizing with the woman. The follow-up from the Hugh Grant and Ben Winshaw miniseries A Very English Scandal, A Very British Scandal delves into the Campbell's drama, looking at it on a personal level and also the wider social context of the harsh judgment against Margaret and, in turn, on the policing of women's sexual behavior. Written by Sarah Phelps, and then there were none, and directed by Anne Suitsky, Black Mirror, the three-part miniseries, is a compelling story, told through an expensive production and punchy performances from Claire Foy and Paul Bettany, even if it ultimately feels a little rushed. From their charged meeting while still technically married to other people to the bitter, bitter end, it's an engrossing albeit rough narrative through how two people ill-suited to each other become entwined, of how quickly that excitement of a new romance turns sour. It's not what you would call a balanced he said she said because the show, and history, is on Margaret's side. While there was poor behavior on both sides, the erratic Ian displayed a cruel streak that soon became his default setting. They both played awful games with each other, but the difference is in how society, and even those close to Margaret such as her so-called friend, Maureen Guinness, the Marchioness of Dufferin and Ava, treated the Duchess. That's where the series excels, in those wincing interactions between Margaret and the people in her life. Where it's flawed is you don't get a real sense of exactly how Margaret and Ian got to where they ended up. In truth, it was 13 years between their wedding and their divorce but the contours and rhythms of that relationship feels truncated and hurried. It's far from a deal breaker though because A Very British Scandal is a handsome and compulsive series about a captivating moment in history. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.